Section 22.1 gives us the rules around closing stock. Now, we've already seen that closing stock should be added to a gross income. Right, which we can see over here, including such an amount in gross income. And what have you also, right, what have you also seen? The value rule? Well, we haven't really seen it, we're going to look at it now. So what is the value rule? Closing stock. So I'm going to first give you the rule. The rule says we must value closing stock, so this amount is must include in gross income, at the lower of the cost or the market value. Now the market value can be lower than the cost. When is it lower? For example, if um, I'm going to use an example which you'll see in a second, fashion. So clothing was manufactured at a cost um, of 100 rands. Now the fashion has changed and people don't want to pay more than 60 rands for it. So the market value is lower than the cost in that case, and you'll use that. Right, so let's first go and see where we can see this section 22.1. So let's read it. It says, the amount which shall, in the determination of the taxable income derived by any person during any year of assessment from carrying on any trade, be taken into account in respect of the value of any trading stock held and not disposed of by him at the end of such year of assessment. So this whole big thing says, the amount for trading stock which was not disposed of at the end of the year, which is closing stock, shall be in the case of trading stock other than trading stock on paragraph B, right, the cost price to such a person of such trading stock less such an amount as the commissioner may think just and reasonable as representing the amount by which the value of such trading stock not being any financial instrument, I'm going to just point that out for now, not being any financial instrument, has been diminished by reason of damage, deterioration, change of fashion, a decrease in the market value or any other reason. So what are they saying? They say, you must include the cost price less any amount by which the value has been decreased. So in other words, the way we can interpret that is to say it means you have to use the lower of cost or market value. Now what's important also here? It says over here, not being any financial instrument. Now shares are financial instruments. That's why this rule over here. Shares are financial instruments. So if you're a share dealer, it means you trade in shares. So shares are your trading stock. You buy and sell shares for profit. You will not apply this rule. You will only always show it at cost. Because remember, this thing starts. It says trading stock must be shown at the cost. Less the value if it's n right but not if it's not a financial instrument so in other words a financial instrument we don't take this less amount into account we only look at the cost so in summary shares are always shown at cost all other trading stock is shown at the lower of cost or market value opening stock thing section 22.2 opening stock is a deduction for us it says the amount which shall in the determination of taxable income derived by any person during any year of assessment from carrying on any trade be taken into account in respect of the value of any trading stock held and not disposed of him at the beginning of any year of assessment. So can you see there, beginning of any year of assessment is opening stock. When we looked at closing stock, it said at the end of such year. Right, so opening stock, shall, says, if such trading stock form part of trading stock of such person at the end of the immediately preceding year, of assessment will be the amount which was in the determination of the taxable income of such person for such preceding year of assessment taken into account in respect of the value of such trading stock at the end of such preceding year of assessment. Right, they say preceding year of assessment a million times there. What they're saying is the opening stock value, this says opening stock equals closing stock at the end of last year. So, when you did the closing stock and you said lower of cost 100,000 or market value 90,000, you added 90,000 rands back. That same 90,000 will now be your opening stock. That is what they say there. So, how will you so what will the rule be here? In other words, you can also say the rule is thus the lower of cost 
or market value because that is what the rule was for closing stock. And if closing opening stock equals closing stock, that's the same rule. And then just a special rule here, or if such trading stock did not form part of the trading stock of such person at the end of the immediately preceding year of assessment, then it will be the cost price to such person. Now that's not very common for you to see, but that's basically a situation where I decide to change something into trading stock. So it was not trading stock last year, but I changed it into trading stock this year. So let's say, for example, I sell computers, I buy and I sell computers. Right, that's a computer, that's a keyboard. And I take one of the computers out of trading stock and I start using it. I can claim my deduction for that basically as the cost price. Now, I don't want you to spend too much time on this because section 22H you will see will override that. Right, and this is not very common to see. Then there's just one comment I want to make, uh, just talk about, the earns best the trust case. Just so that you understand what happened in this court case and just the principle behind this. This company was a company that sold sand. So they took sand from the soil or ground sand and they sold it. What then happened is when they sold the sand, they didn't think it was gross income because they said, we bought a property and we're selling the sand on it. So the, the courts did two things. First up, the courts said it is gross income for you. So it is a scheme of profit making, it's trading stock. That's the first thing. The second thing is the trust, what this business then said is, well, we have this massive piece of land here and there's sand obviously here, which is still in the ground. We haven't taken it out. So we haven't dug it up. If we're going to be taxed on it, then we want that to be our opening stock. So then we're going to deduct the value of opening stock, the land, the whole time. And what the court said, no, you can't do it. If sand is still in the ground, you haven't done anything with it, we can't treat it as opening stock.